Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. So this is episode 4, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, yeah, episode 4, Escape Plan Bravo. Interesting. So, uh, the last episode, it ended uh, with Valerie and her men uh, capturing us. Um, and Gordis, right at the end, uh, left a huge cliffhanger and said that the last piece uh, to his Gordis, whatever it is that he is to find a vault the last piece for that uh, is on Helios so that's interesting um, and it looks like we're headed into space just based on what I see here with Fiona and Scooter uh, not sure though but let's go ahead and get started darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation, the Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. And the dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Right, Athena. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take revenge, I made a the con artist intervened. <laughs> That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Hmm, interesting. I really like these introductions that uh, it gives us. It gives a really good recap. Much better than I could ever give, so... <laughs> Find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. <laughs> that suit he's wearing. It looks familiar. But I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's got to be a reason for it. It's got to be some sort of payback. Payback? You think? Look, there's a long list of people we've only just recently pissed off. I'm sure it's one of those assholes looking for revenge. Hmm. Yeah, that is a pretty long list. Yeah, it is. <sighs> I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's it gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. <laughs> that hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. <laughs> that sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Going on three. One... Uh, yeah, let's run for it. Three, go! <laughs> yeah, he did say to run into zigzags. <laughs> what the hell was that? Meteor shower, shower. Meteor shower, get to the shelter. Yeah. I love he's, he's not even phased that they're running away. Whoa, that was close. Wasn't 
What's that? <laughs> this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. <laughs> Even for her. Yeah, that thing weighed a ton. Vaughn? Vaughn! Shut up. <laughs> hey! Stop it! Please! Uh-oh. Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. She's lying. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The... The Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. Interesting. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. <laughs> what does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. <laughs> that's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gorgeous. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you said guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. That didn't need to happen. She had nothing to do with this. She was keeping me from getting to you, so she had everything to do with this. <clears throat> now listen up. Under normal circumstances, <clears throat> your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. Alright, so she needs us. That's good. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy <laughs> any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters... Oh! Things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? Okay, no, we'll do it. What's we'll do it. Be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. Stop, yes, whatever All right, you want. Yeah, she got us. Please, just, just leave her alone. Yeah, we'll do it. I'm glad we were able to work this out. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, you shouldn't have given in. Shut up. No, no, she was what stabbing you. What's wrong with you two? <laughs> We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. But I bet that had some sort Let's of effect crying. on August. Uh, when Valerie stabbed Sasha like that. So we might be able to get him on our side at some point, or at least try to. I'm telling you, it's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're going to figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're going to get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll, 
We'll find a rocket okay, booster. Okay, okay, I'm on. loving your optimism. Look, You're I saying... know what we have to do. Thank you. All right, let's hear guys, it. It boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. I mean, we know that so far. No shit, moron. <laughs> I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you stop being so negative, maybe we can How's your tum tum there, buddy? That'll teach you to hit the taco truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure there's, there's great in there somewhere. <laughs> we just <laughs> just gotta keep looking. The one forcing us to go on a Actually, I could mission. use your help. Yeah, of course you could. Great. Real helpful. Is that a yes or no? What? You think old Jack would leave his meat buddy hanging? We don't have a I mean, probably. I honestly <laughs> don't know how to answer that. You don't think I know so that? listen, maybe I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but okay, if there's one thing one. you know we about me, know. it's that I'm a collector of my rival's that. top secret project. <laughs> That's why I'm <laughs> going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. You got the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. <laughs> oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face <laughs> before you shoot them. <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're going to do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? Yeah, I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We have a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can see. <laughs> You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. Man, how many people you got to kill to get an office like that? Probably Millions. a lot. And I think that's rounding down on Jack's murder <laughs> count. All right, let's check this out. What is this? I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh, it's killer. Behold, Helios. Okay, now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, <laughs> obviously. All well, right. We don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. <laughs> well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. There we go. And then it's off to Helios. Come on! <laughs> Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Interesting, okay. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. <laughs> I'll tell the guards There's to let no you way through. it's gonna happen like this. <laughs> At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. <laughs> I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. 
From there, we'll get into Jack's office. We're all. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. <laughs> Once of inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. Oh, Vasquez? <laughs> <laughs> and for the grand finale, oh, Digistruct of Vasquez. Oh, Vasquez, Jack's inside Reese, who's inside but Vasquez. Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. He'll never know the difference. <laughs> this could actually maybe work. Yeah, it's coming so, together. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Oh, yeah, they still don't, don't know tell that. Them, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Yeah, let's not do well, it. Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but boom! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds technology. Gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be more interesting if we don't tell Reese, them. If there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying <laughs> is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why! <laughs> Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. We're the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me! <laughs> I'll kill you. Get, yeah. Go team! <laughs> go team, alright. Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. Alright, let's do it. 